Today at Santa Rita in science class, we are experimenting with making spaghetti towers as a way on second day of school, trying to get the kids used to working in groups, experimenting, having successes and failures with basically experimenting and learning what it's all about and then going back to reflect on what we did to talk about what could have been done to make it, our towers better, to make them a little bit more structurally sound and what they could have learned from other groups. Basically our lesson followed a model of them looking at some famous buildings and talking about what makes a building structurally sound, what are some things we need to keep in mind, um, talking about balance, having supports, coming up with a clear plan beforehand. And then I introduced the materials to the kids and told them that the goal was to make the tallest tower you could. Um, gave them a couple of hints and tips about how things need braces and need to be kind of symmetrical. I provided them with rulers, spaghetti, and marshmallows, and then kind of just set them free to learn from their mistakes and try and see what happens. So after they've made their towers, um, they're going to reflect on what went well, kind of what they wish they could have changed. They're going to kind of critique each other's work and see what each group did that was really good, kind of learn from each other's successes and failures. And then we're going to look at some examples of other spaghetti towers from different schools to see what components of them that ours had and how we could have enhanced our designs. Basically, I kind of wanted to jump in on the second day of school to get them to realize that a lot of science is working with groups and learning how to cooperate with each other and that you're going to fail when you try different things and how to bounce back from that and learn from each other. So I wanted it to happen right off the bat so that they know that's going to be a huge part of our classroom culture.